Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report, one of Timer Digest's top ranked stock market timers. And while I've been around, uh, Woodson Wave Report's been around since the uh, 1990s, I am relatively new to YouTube, so we appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button, the reminder bell, and of course the like, comment, and share. I appreciate your patronage to the channel. And as I mentioned before, I have been uh, trading a long time, but I recently started in 2018 our short-term day trader service. We have uh, a newsletter, plus um, we were doing our trades, but uh, since um, I average over 700 trades a year, we have moved our futures trades over to Striker Securities uh, last year. Okay, so if you don't want to sit around and uh, trade at your computer all day like I do, you can contact Striker Securities. They will auto-trade our future signals. We have an educational video today. We're going to look at that. Plus, so uh, we had a request for Doge, Dodge, Doge. We're going to we're going to look at that too. But let's get the. Um, let me see if there's anything else we wanted to cover here right away. We'll get into that later. We did that and we've got that. Okay, so let's look at the S&P. Here we have a one-minute chart. This is today. This is today's open here, 9.30 Eastern, February 11th. Okay, and you can see we had five waves down here. Let me um, put those in for you guys, okay? We're going to learn a little trading with Elliott Wave and Fibonacci's and all that good stuff. You can see there's five waves down, right? Okay, and then you see a correction. Um, I'll get those out of the way because I don't want too many things in the way here we have an a up a b down and a c up for a okay and uh, if you look this is where the fractals really come in okay so um let me show you here this is a b c makes a then we have a b down and then we have five waves up for c so it's a three three five correction three up three down and five up okay here's our I'll do it um, like this for you guys. Let's do an A, B, C, even though they're in there. I should put the lines in. There's an A, there's a B, and there's a C. Let me see if I can uh, get into settings here. Yeah, and put the lines in so you can see them. Okay, there's an A, B, C. Three up, three down, five up. But if you look within A, this is a fractal. Okay, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and this is where I saw this coming. This is three up, this is three down, and this is five up. So this A, which is three up, three down, five up, is the same on a larger scale as this three up, three down, five up. In fact, we can do this in here within that. Okay, let me get this in. We'll do the A, B, C within it. Get it right here. All right, this is A, B, C for A. And then we have another A, B, C. And then uh, I'll do that too. Okay, we'll get the down. Then we have an A, B, C for B. Okay, and then we have the, and I'll show you how this really pays off for trading when you can see this in advance. Then we have a, a one, two, three, four, five. That makes A. So there's a lot of lines in here, but this up, down, up equals the larger up, down, up. So it's a fractal within itself, okay? I'll uh, I'll take these down so it's not too much um, to look at here, but we'll get into how this, how you can trade this, okay? Um, and let me get rid of this too and remove and let's remove that okay so we had five waves down let's look at this um retracement okay and there's our five waves down and there's our abc retracement you can see it went above the 618 what most traders would probably do is as soon as this here's your uh, retracement up here oh that might be it it's under it's under the uh, 618 and you go short and then you're wiped out up here you're stopped out or you're losing money okay 
because they're tricking everybody. One of the ways they're tricking everybody is taking it past the 618 retracement and sometimes even past the 786. Okay, but if you notice know is a fractal within the bigger, you're going to look for the same thing. Three up, three, I'm sorry, yeah, three up, three down, five up. So we got it here. And that's the, uh, that is the actual high of wave two. This is one down here. This is two up here. Not here. This was a fractal of the bigger. Hope I haven't overdriven that point. But what does that allow us to do? Okay, so we saw this coming. One, two, three, four, five. I actually saw it today and traded it today. These are off a little bit. I'm cleaning it up a little bit here, if you will. Okay, was okay, there's a much bigger decline coming because this is one and this is two. We didn't get stopped out here. We didn't get fooled. Let's just, uh, okay, so we're at a high here of 39.22. So we should have a third wave coming, right? What do we have? Look, looky here. Let's make it a little bit so we can get it all in. A little, look at that. What we're able to trade. All of that. All of that. Okay. So we were up here in our, uh, our second wave up here at 39.21. We had a decline all the way to 38.90. That's 31 points. So there's much bigger ones than that, but we didn't get fooled there. Let me let me uh, remove that. There we go. Okay. So there's our one. There's our two, and there's our three. And let's do a little uh, Fibonacci extension here. I don't know that this reached exactly where we would have liked it to, but there's one down. There's two up, and you can see. Here's where 3 equaled 1. It went past that. Here's a 1.618. It went past that. Didn't quite make the 2.618. But there's there's a lot of um, room to make money there. Instead of getting stopped out here and uh, with this, you know, going in here and getting stopped out here, we can see five waves down here and up, five waves down here and up, and a final five waves down here. Okay. So uh, that was the uh, trade today. And then we had, um, let me see if I can make this even smaller and go out a little bit. So you can see we have another two. What did they do here? Okay, so this is one, two, and this is one and two. Okay, because it's a series of ones and twos, and I'll get into that with a review. Okay, but this is one down, two up, and this is one down, two up. But look what they did here on this two up. Fibonacci retracement, that's one down and two up. We'll do a Fibonacci retracement. And like I said, again, it's past the 618. Let me throw in the 786. And he even took it past that. See, I could be wrong. If this goes up above here, then I'm wrong, okay? But unless and until that's taken out, I'm calling this a wave too. And that's an ABC up there, okay? But this was the key here is identifying this here. All right, so we're looking for a third wave down, a three of three. If this is one, two, and this is one, two, then we're looking for wave three of three. And I can show you guys, I got this a little bit cleaner over here for you guys to look at. at. This is the same thing. There's a one, two, three, four, five. There's that A, B, C with three up, three down, and five up. And we got the second, one, two, three, four, five. And that one goes above the 786 this gets taken out we're wrong okay otherwise we're expecting wave three of three which this wave three at this level here will give us these targets 3882 and 3824 on the larger level this is one down to here this is two up to here so that three with the parentheses if you I don't want to get too technical with you guys is um, wave three is equal to wave one at 38.79 and a 1.618 at 38.51. Again, as soon as this high is taken out, we're wrong. That's the beauty of Elliott Wave and Fibonacci. You know where you're wrong and you can cut your losses short. Hope that all makes sense. Let's get into, uh, so that's what we're looking at in the Friday going into a three-day holiday weekend, okay? Let's look at uh, Doge. I had a um, a request for Doge, okay? So uh, we're looking at from January 27th low. It looks like we got a one up, a two down, and a three up. Let's look how how this uh, breaks down. We'll do a one up to the two down, and look at that three equals one right there, and that's where it went. And that sure does look 
like a fourth wave triangle, doesn't it? So uh, one up, two down, three equals one here. Let's allow for a 1.618 uh, at uh, 12, what is that, 129? Well, I got 129.02119, okay? You can see it's near a 0.13. Okay, so um, let's just see if that is four. Boy, that's A, B, C, D, E. Boy, that is sure. Let's draw that up here. Let's look at that uh, triangle here. Let's do a little trend line connecting nose highs. Triangles are nice to trade because you always get a thrust out. And it should thrust out, if you're on the right side and analyzing it, it should thrust out in the direction that it was going before the triangle struck. So if this is 3 and this is 4, the direction going into the triangle was up, so coming out should be up. Okay, so that would look like uh, boy, A, B, C, D, E. It could still even go a little bit for, farther, but that looks like a 4, which is also overlapping the 1. So it, it could be subdividing, even going higher. Okay, but let's get a... Let's just say that uh, this is at least one of three, if not wave three. Let's get a retracement for this just in case it does come back and we're wrong on the triangle. Here's our targets here. You can see 0 0.063, 0 0.055, 0 0.047. I don't like to use the 786. It doesn't happen that often. And um, I just messed it up. Let me do it again. Fib retracement here. There we go. Clip the top of that. Let's get into settings and remove the 786. Okay, so there's our retracement levels uh, to retrace this five wave advance. Okay, but we could expect to see that bounce up through there. Let me remove this and let's just get a higher target here. Let's get let's call that a four and see if we can get um, get an extension. Let's make that a little smaller. Here we go. If that is 1, we're going on that assumption, and that is 2, and that is 3, and that is 4, and it overlapped. And let's just say it ended right there. It still could wiggle up and down, but it's going to get a tighter and tighter trading range, and that's how it snaps out of that coil. It coils tighter, 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 then bam, and it jumps up, okay? So that would make 5 equal to 1 at 1, 3, 4, 2, just under 0.14 over there, okay? So that's what we're looking at in uh, Doge, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, educational video. Um, we're looking forward to uh, Friday to see if this plays out. We know our make or break. I would say uh, this high, but definitely that high over there. And then uh, looking for three of three down or a break up and a move to our all-time target of 39.96. Thanks again. Until next time, take care, everyone.